This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Decoder 1 billion parameter large language model. So this is a large language model for code completion. It has been trained on Python, Java and JavaScript subsets of Star Coder training dataset. This is from a company called as Desi. They are an AI startup. Okay. Uh, the model's architecture was generated by Desi's proprietary neural architecture search based technology called as AutoNAC. It has a context window of 2048 tokens and it makes use of something called as grouped query attention. Okay. So the model type is an auto regressive language model based on the transformer decoder architecture using grouped query attention. And it can generate a code in Python, Java and JavaScript. Okay. And uh, this makes use of position embeddings and uh, you know, uh, over here, it is not an instruction tuned model. So you cannot write commands like write a function that computes the absolute value of an integer. But instead, what you should do is that you have to give input in the form of uh, source code comments. Okay. So they have a notebook over here. Uh, let's look into the notebook. Okay. They have a demo notebook. So for this, I'm using T4 uh, GPU free collab instance. And uh, you need to install the packages, necessary packages. You need to have hugging face access token. Um, basically, you will do command line uh, login and you will give the token over here. So once you do that, uh, you know, you can uh, use the tokenizer. You can also use a custom tokenizer where you have this fill in the middle prefix uh, suffix. This is for fill in the middle code generation. Okay. So this is the uh, tokenizer for fill in the middle. Okay, where you add these special tokens over here. Okay, so this uh, code makes use of uh, this model makes use of star coder tokenizer for which you need to have access to the star code repository on hugging face. It is very simple. You can go to this repository over here. There will be an agreement over here. You agree and you just um, you will be provided access to this model. Okay. Um, so that is the tokenizer part. So now once the tokenizer is done, you actually download the model over here and you instantiate the model, which is DC, uh, DC coder 1 billion parameter. So this 1 billion parameter model is around 2.81 G in, on storage. And when loaded into GPU, it is close to 4.8 GB. Okay. Um, so that is the footprint of this particular model, okay, memory footprint. Now this is how you write prompts. Okay. So you, um, say you write uh, like a definition of a function and then you say basically code style uh, text okay? and it says returns all elements of the sequence. So this is the prompt. So the expectation over here is I'm going to give a sequence as input and it should return all the odd elements of the sequence. Okay. So I'm running the prompt. Um, basically I'm creating tokenizing the prompt over here, getting the inputs Then the inputs are given to the model to generate the outputs. So currently that is what is happening over here. And once the outputs are uh, there, then you will actually decode it using the tokenizer to get our text output. So over here, if you see, it says, uh, you know, uh, the definition was given over here, extract odd element sequence, returns all uh, odd elements of the sequence. So it generates code for that over here, basically return X for X in sequence if X mod two is equal to one. So it returns all the odd elements which are you know all uh, present in this sequence it also gives some other codes okay so this is the code completion of your uh, desi coder 1 billion parameter model okay now let's change the this thing just to see how the outputs are coming let's say sum and let's say return sum of odd element sum all odd elements and let's again model. Okay. See what happens over here. So it is given some filter lambda uh, x mod 2 sequence. Actually, sum of all even elements. Okay. Uh, one time when I did this, it actually gave me the proper output. I don't know. I'm not sure why it's not giving this time of all the elements. Okay. Yeah, as with any language model, your outputs can change from time to time, right? And there is no guarantee of the same output being generated because it's generating. 
the generative model. Same output. I'm quite surprised because last time it had given me the proper output where it did some. Okay. Maybe something returns some. If I say some. Just try quickly and then we'll move on. Yeah, see here it gives properly, right? X for X, some function. Uh, which takes this input of even numbers over here x mod 2 is equal to 0 so the results keep changing they also have fill in the middle generation the idea over here is that you have this definition of a fibonacci function and you want some code to be filled over here you have the rest of the code over here else return fibonacci of this right so you are trying to generate a fibonacci uh, number series okay so over here we make use of the modified tokenizer which has all these fill in middle uh, tokens like this fill in middle prefix fill in middle this thing okay so now let's try out this particular uh, you know uh, they have actually again uh, in this particular notebook they have loaded the model again Not sure why this is required because you are actually loading the model over here the model for LLM from pre so auto model for casual alum from pre you need not actually do this step because it's already done the thing is you need to make use of this modified tokenizer right uh, so yeah so over here if you see it has filled this part of the code if n less than 2 return n and the code is not complete over here because we are generating only 25 new tokens in our output now let's increase that and let's see right what happens game good so they have this notebook over here in this web page um, so you can also try out this notebook so they also have a blog you know uh, where they explain about this decoder Still getting gin. Okay. So what they claim over here is that uh, this model is much more efficient compared to other models like Santa Coder. Okay. And the carbon emission is also low over here for this. The carbon footprint for this model is much more lower. They have their own inference uh, platform on which you can optimize, uh, you know, inference of uh, these kind of models. Okay, so they have their own platform called um, Neural Search um, uh, Auto NAC for Neural Architecture Search, which identifies the optimal architecture. Okay, so this architecture of this model has been actually, uh, you know, uh, done by this particular Auto NAC. So for uh, decoder, AutoNAC search it through a design space of transformers that use multi-head attention, multi-query attention, and grouped query attention, and then optimize this architecture. Okay, the objective was to find an architecture optimized for NVIDIA's A10, which is a leading cloud GPU for generative AI models. Okay, uh, while maximizing throughput, rivaling the accuracy of Santa Coder. Okay. So they say that this particular architecture generated the state of art object detection model YOLO NAS, DESI BIRD for question answering task and DESI segment of DESI seg for semantic segmentation among many others. So they have this AutoNAC architecture, sorry, uh, AutoNAC, uh, you know, platform or software to find the optimal architecture using neural architecture search. Okay, then what is there over here? The training processes they make made use of you know 6 TB of uh, permissive licensed source code from the star coder dataset. It was trained on Python, Java, and JavaScript subsets of the stack. An extensive dataset from 358 programming language. 
but they only looked at python java and javascript subset okay and what else do they say over here the accuracy of this is better than pentacoder okay it has remarkable inference speed okay so they have something called as inferi llm which is their platform for inference okay they take uh, they talk about training cost cost per tokens okay i'll be putting this blog and you can check it out and this can be used for commercial projects okay this decoder can be used for commercial projects go back yeah so if you see over here uh you know with this fill in the middle prompt here it has actually generated the code properly for fibonacci number sequence okay so it also generates a lot of other text but yeah you have to ignore it really. yeah so this was a short video on decoder new small uh, language model for code generation or code completion okay for python java and javascript basically so you can try out this um, i'll be putting the link to this model uh, you know and the blog as well as the python notebook i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video